Hello and welcome back. My name is Elke. I'm an author and a fiction book coach, and I help writers to ditch their fear, write their fiction books, and create the writing life of their dreams. And I do this by sharing my own experiences while I'm building my own writing dream. All right, so in today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you three ways planning can help you to write your fiction book. And please stick around to the end because I'm gonna share with you a resource that I use myself to write my fiction books that have really helped me out. All right, let's dive in. Now, in my early years of writing my book, I really struggled to finish because I was starting and stopping or I would reach so like either by chapter three or by the middle of the book, I just couldn't go on. And I couldn't figure out what it was. At first I thought it was my writing sucked or maybe it was just, it wasn't the right character, it wasn't the right story. But what I soon realized is that when it kept happening with every single story <laughs> is that I needed to do something different. Now I had tried sort of traditional outlining um, processes and they just didn't work for me. So what I did is I basically pulled different pieces and created my own writing process that I found really helped me. The takeaway was that it had to start with a plan. <laughs> and that's what I did. And the plan was really, the first thing was to gain clarity, right? <laughs> because a lot of times, um, we, you know, we get excited about the story and the character, but we don't really take a moment to ask ourselves a few questions about that. And for me, the two questions were, First one was to ask myself, why do I want to write this book? Now, that seems like a straightforward question because I got the idea for it or whatever, but the truth is sometimes we need a little bit more or we need to ask ourselves a little bit more about why this book. Is it the characters? Is it Does it have some uh, deeper meaning? Is there a theme in the book that is important to us that we want to share with the world? Even for fiction books, sometimes we don't realize that that's what we want to do and why we're writing this book. Um, an example is like my third, the last book that I wrote was the third book in a series. And for me, it was while it had all these other things going on with the stories and the characters and all those things, the underlining theme for me was talking about human trafficking, specifically children. And it was sort of one of those things that I knew that that's why I wanted to write this book. So that's why it's a good idea to ask yourself the question question because when we have that clarity about why this book it really helps us to stay passionate about why we want to write and continuing to write and putting in the effort and the time instead of just thinking oh well it's not a good as good a story as I thought it was going to be or the character really isn't that great I'm going to start with something else but when we realize that no this is why I want to write this book then it can really help to gain a lot of deep clarity about um, why we wanna write this book, <laughs> right? So the second question to ask yourself is, is this the right time to write this book? Because a lot of times we get excited and we're writing and we start, we're like, I'm gonna write this book, it's gonna be awesome. And then we sort of get in there and start writing and then you know life happens or we just suddenly realize that, oh my God, I can't write this book. And we tend to, you know, beat ourselves up and feel guilty. And we, when the truth is, we basically set ourselves up for failure because we didn't look um, or ask ourselves this question: Is this the right time to write this book right now? And maybe it's not. You know, if your kids are just about to come out of school <laughs> and they're going to be home with you, this might not be the right time to try to write this book. Or maybe it is. So that's why that question is really important because it might just highlight that, you know, right now isn't a great time, but hey, like in two months would be the perfect time. And then you can kind of say, okay, well, I can't start to write the book, but maybe there are little things that I can do to help me along the way until I can write this book so that you're not setting yourself up for failure. And asking ourselves these questions are just a great way to, as I said, know for sure that this is the right book that we want to write and that it's the right time to write this book. And as I said, it's really going to help to set you up for success 
rather than for failure. The second way having a plan can help you to write your fiction book is it helps you to build a strong foundation before you actually start writing. My stop and start way of writing books in the past, I knew that it had to stop. But the truth is I didn't know how I was going to go about that. And, and the reason why I wasn't able to do what I needed to do to write the book is because I didn't have that strong foundation. And I knew that I needed to create one for myself and not just the strong foundation, but what were the next steps that I needed to do in order to keep going. <laughs> And the biggest thing for me, it not just had to create a strong foundation, but it also had to help me when I got stuck. Because let's face it, that's going to happen, right? Which leads me to the third way that having a plan can help you write your book is that it helps you to have confidence while writing your book so that you can avoid roadblocks. Now the truth is roadblocks are gonna happen. You're writing a book, that's inevitable. There's no way to get around that. However, um, having a plan can help you to manage those roadblocks. And where the confidence comes in is that if you know that, okay, these are the possible roadblocks or these are the possible things that can happen and you have a way of how you're gonna manage them, that really gives you the confidence to know that as you're writing your book, no matter what your book or life throws at you, that you can, you have a plan to manage it, right? Now, realistically, that's not everything, but it's going to help you with a lot. And not just that, it's building that skill of being able to manage um, roadblocks as they come up while you're writing your book. And also that's what gives you the confidence rather than just beating yourself up and saying, oh, well, I can't write this book now, or, you know, these things keep happening, what's wrong with me, you know, when you have a plan, then you, that is what helps you to build that confidence and be able to tackle whatever gets thrown your way. One of the biggest things that uh, really helps me with my confidence is, and having a plan, is my story Bible. I love this thing. <laughs> this thing really, really helps me out. And what I love about it is not your traditional sort of outlining process. It has everything built in there that you need, but it also has the flexibility so that you can tweak it and um, update it while you're writing and not something that you have to do all before that you write. And that really helps me because while I need that plan <laughs> to get me started and to keep going, I like the flexibility because let's face it, characters never do what you want them to do, right? <laughs> And we want to be able to adjust and let them tell the story as well too because that's when it becomes an awesome book. So what about you? Do you have a plan when you write your books? If you do, I would love to hear about it in the comments of this video. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I was going to share with you a free resource. And that free resource is Start Your Book Now. And it's my five-day training video series that comes with a step-by-step -step workbook that guides you through creating a strong foundation for your book. Now, you don't have to do the training over the course of five days. You can do it all at once, however you wanna do it. It has that flexibility built in. All right, so thank you so much for joining me and um, please like and subscribe the channel if you would like to get more videos on building your writing life, your dream writing life, or just if you're looking for some tips on and tricks on how to become a better fiction writer. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.